National RV Detroit, and I'm going to show you through your Heritage Gland Model 282RK. Okay, starting on the door side, we've got a swing out grill. Now, this grill has to be plugged in, so down here you can see there's a quick connect coupler for, a, for your grill line. So, you got to plug it in to use it. You have a dorm style refrigerator and water here, okay? Power and antenna out for a TV set. You got outside speakers, that is a vent. That's a TV bracket. You got a power awning. Uh, power stabilizer jacks, which go up and down like so. One switch for the front, one switch for the back. This is a hookup for a solar battery charger. If you ever wanted to add a solar panel to charge your battery, you could plug it in right there. You got two 30 pound tanks and a deep cycle marine battery. Um, this is not a selector here. This is an automatic changeover regulator. So all you're doing when you turn this is you're turning the indicator to, look, to, to, to see how much or if there's gas in this tank. If it turns red, it's empty. If it stays green, it's got gas in it. Power tongue jack, like so. Okay. This is the water heater here. This is your outside shower. Now, these are your dump valves down here. You can see you got a gray and a black. What you'll do is you'll hook your hose to here. You put the other end in the dump station. Then you're going to pull the black handle and dump the black. Then you'll pull the gray and dump the gray. The gray is cleaner water than the black water. The gray is sink and shower water. The black is toilet water and um, waste. Uh, also, you have this right here, which is, a hot, which is a black tank flush. So after you've done that, you can hook the hose at the dump station onto this right here, and it will, you turn it on, and it will clean out the black tank even better. Okay? To, to fill your freshwater tank, that, which is an on-demand tank that's on board the trailer, um, you would you'd hook the hose on here. The reason you would do that is some of the older state parks have don't have plumbing on the campsite, but they have a, a fill station when you first pull into the park. So you would uh, use that. Nine times out of ten, though, you're just going to use city water connection, which is just you hook the hose up and turn it on, and you're all set, ready to go. Okay. All right. Nice, beautiful day. This is where your power cord hooks up. It's a 50 amp cord. Um, it's a 50 amp system. So. If you plug it in at home using the reducers, remember you cannot run your air conditioner uh, because it draws too many amps for a 15 amp system at home. So keep that in mind. That's just hook up for a, a park cable or satellite. That's the vet for your range hood. And that up there is a, a housing for a pre-wired backup camera. Now, if you get one, it has to be a Furion that fits inside that housing. We sell them. Uh, you can talk to our parts people about it. Um, but the, the bottom line is uh, you, have to, you have to have that brand that fits in that housing. It's pre-wired and when you turn on your running lights, it'll light up the camera so you can back up or see behind you. Okay. Um, one thing I'm going to tell you while I'm in the trailer here, I was going to do it outside but it's raining. You have to go up on your roof and inspect your roof. It's very important. Um, if, you, if you don't, eventually there'll be a crack somewhere in the roof one of these years and you'll have to you know, can get water inside the trailer. So you go up there and you inspect it. You figure you inspect it in the spring and in the fall and then one time in the middle of the summer. You can walk around up there. Just make sure all the seals are good and tight. If not, get them taken care of. Okay. This is your control panel. Your power awning is here. You're just going to push out and it will send the awning out, as you can see. In. Brings it back in. Okay. This is for your slide room in, brings it in, out sends it out, okay, um, you can 
your water pump, I told you you have an onboard water tank. You can, uh, you can turn that on right here if you need it. You only use that if you're using onboard water. For city water, you don't need it. Uh, your water heater lights right here. Make sure there's water in the water heater before you light it. Um, this is how you check your levels. You see your battery is, is almost totally charged. Um, it hasn't been plugged in for a while. Your, your fresh water tank is empty. It graduates up in one third increments as you can see till it's full. Black is empty, gray is empty, and second gray tank is empty. Okay, so this has two gray tanks. One's called a galley tank. It's for the sink and the outside kitchen. The other gray tank is, is for the um, shower and the lavatory sink. Okay, all right, moving on. Um, you have a fireplace. The fireplace uh, runs on 110 AC. You can uh, adjust the fan speed off, high or low. You can set the thermostat. You can change the color of the flame and it has a timer. So you can do all that from it. Your radio is a Furion and you can stream USB off of it. Uh, put all your albums on a USB stick and take them with you. You can hook up Bluetooth wirelessly and play your MP3s from your phone or your tablet. Uh, it has AM radio or FM radio. Um, two zones. Zone 1 is inside, zone 2 is outside. Uh, you can play discs here, DVDs and CDs. Um, so it, it does everything you need for camping. The TV works like any other TV. Just remember that this is the, the antenna signal booster here. You could shut it off, but you always want it on, or you'll get a lousy picture. Okay. Your thermostat, you, you'll hit it once to light it up, and then you can scroll through fan, air conditioner, and furnace. Okay. And then back to off. Alrighty. This couch folds out into a trifold, which I'm sure you've already seen. You just fold it on out. Your stove range top works by sparking it. Let me see if he's got the gas turned on. Sounds like it. Let's see. If not, I'll have to go out there and turn it on. Let's see. Give it a minute to get up here. Oh, so he's got gas. Okay. All right. Let me do this one. There we go. So you're just turning this clockwise. Let me back up so you can see it. To spark it like that. Okay. The oven, you have to light with a lighter. So you can use a grill lighter. Back here, you have to trust me, there's a pilot light back there. You'll turn this to on. You'll depress it. Light the pilot light while you're depressing this. Hold it for another uh, 10 or 15 seconds after it lights. Go to whatever temperature you want. It'll cycle on and off like a regular oven, but when you turn it off, the flame goes off and so does the pilot light, so you have to relight the pilot light each time. This is the carbon monoxide the LP gas detector. It should always be green. If it goes off, you shut off, you go outside, shut off your gas and figure out what's going on. Okay. Um, that's just your range uh, hood. Now the refrigerator, you're just going to unscrew this here. This is to keep it shut safety wise so it doesn't open up and damage your doors while you're traveling it works like a regular refrigerator there's nothing unique about it in that sense okay all right now you have to winterize this trailer and just always remember that you can't get antifreeze into the water tank for the hot water heater because if you do it leaves a really foul taste so they put bypass valves on the back of the water heater and I just want you to be aware of that that you're gonna have if you if you already know this and you're you're uh, doing it yourself. You, you already you probably know how to do it. If not, you can educate yourself. It's easy enough to do your own on yourself, on your own. But if not, you have to have somebody do it for you. Okay. The shower works like any other shower. The toilet. You have to remember. You have to put chemical in it. Okay. So when you first get to the campground, you hook up the gas. Or I'm, I'm sorry. You hook up your power. You hook up your water, and then you're going to. Come in here and you're going to dump your chemical right in here, whichever chemical you use. Then you'll step on this because you have water hooked up. Water will come swirling out and start to fill your black tank. You always put a gallon or two in the black tank to start off with um, each time you start fresh with the toilet. So if it's been dumped and you're going to use it again, you're going to uh, use chemical and a little bit of water, okay? All right. Also, when you, when you take your foot off the pedal, it's only going to fill about up to there with water. 
if you want to add more, hopefully you can see this, you can, you can work the pedal a little bit here before the trap opens. That'll allow water to come out and fill it. So you can fill it up as full as you want before you use it, but you got to do that each time before you use it, okay? You've got a vent here, power vent, there's the switch. So use that when you're using the shower for sure, because you want to pull that humidity out. All right. Okay, the, the bedroom, the only thing to know here is, let me get some light here. Oh, where are we at here? Is, um, there's a TV backer here, and then you got video and uh, power to hook up a TV in here. Uh, there's a, underneath the bed here, there's a foot locker, which you can see under there. Okay. This is an emergency window. If you need to escape, you just push this open like so. Um, you'll grab this red tab here and pull the screen out, push it the rest of the way through, and you can just uh, get out the window that way if you have to. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I think we that about covers it. Um, the TV antenna is here. It doesn't go up and down, it just rotates. You can rotate it, okay? Um, and then you have just the, the usual stuff, your cupboards, the pantry, and all that. Um, I know that you may have more questions, so you can call us and ask us. I know because of the virus we have to do it this way. It's not the best way to do it, but that's what we have to do. So. Um, you also can look at the manuals for each individual appliance. You can go online to manufacturer sites and they have videos. Uh, you can pretty much find out everything you need. But don't hesitate to call us and we'll help you out as best we possibly can. Okay? Thank you very much.